Hey guys, it's me Dennis from the DJ Walkthroughs and we got another Scout Wars video and today we'll be covering flanking. When it comes to Scout, you really want to flank. Flanking is so important. Um, you want to take enemies out by surprise. Surprising the enemy will give you a guaranteed kill. If anything, if the player is skilled, they will turn around, acknowledge you. If the player isn't skilled, it would keep walking. Example is scouts. This usually happened with uh, double cross. The regular scout would move, and I would keep shooting shots, and it would still try to run away. Don't do that. If that ever happens to you, just acknowledge the other player. It works. While I was playing scout, I noticed that the guillotine and the sandman were actually a really good combo while taking out large classes as the heavy. Sandman the heavy, then throw the guillotine. If the heavy's still alive, a couple of shots with him, with the scatter gun, he should go down. If you are having a lot of trouble with the heavies or any other classes that are slow moving, um, just do the guillotine combo. It really works. Uh, if it was for a scout, you need to aim while doing the bonk. But uh, for heavies, i um, not really sure about aim. But um, you should be able to bonk a heavy and guillotine a heavy pretty easily. Um, try to do it uh, surprisingly. If you acknowledge a heavy in front, uh, I think the heavy will kill you before you can even do that. Unless you're quick and you don't miss your Sandman balls. Um, that could be one, but there's also other players acknowledging you. If you take up by surprise, uh, most likely you can take out the heavy much easier. Also, another useful item for flanking is the bonk. Uh, bonk's really good for escaping situations like sentries, uh, classes that will kill you immediately. Uh, if there's a heavy right in front of your face, just drink that bonk and you will escape. Best situations for the bonk could be heavies, soldiers, um, any classes that you really don't want to acknowledge. Um, mainly heavies and sentries. Um, after you get past the heavy, right, if you have the sandman, the guillotine combo again, you can sandman the heavy and then throw the guillotine, go back, hit the heavy a few times, he should be dead. Also another item that I found useful, but it's not too useful I guess, but the criticola in some situations while fighting massive classes, um, if you really want to take down a large amount of classes as scout, uh, drink the criticola and sandman them. Sandman the biggest, the one with the most health, uh, maybe like the heavy or the soldier, and uh, take them down one by one. Just some tips for double cross, some flank routes I like to take is from the uh, spawn entrance to the battlements where the snipers usually like to uh, snipe from because uh, the scout really can't reach that battlements area from just jumping. Usually a demo man or a soldier can by rocket jumping but a scout can't even do that with the atomizer. So that's where flanking comes in play, just go through the sewers, then to the spawn point, then to the battlements and make sure you are sneaky. I'm sure there's ways to reach that sniper point, but uh, I've not tested them. I apologize for doing that, but if you do know any ways to get to the battlements a lot quicker than my way, please feel free to comment down below. Okay guys, so thank you for watching this flanking video. Uh, this pretty much explains flanking um, as a mechanism for scout. Um, hopefully you have a better understanding of what flanking is. Um, flanking is not difficult but you just need to be stealthy with scout um, after that I guess you should be fine and uh, make sure to play stealthy as scout especially for UGC and stuff like that um, make sure to choose the right routes and um, etc so um, thank you guys for watching this video it would be really nice if you can leave the video like that means you guys show me if you actually want more scout tutorials and all that so um, let's go for 10 likes yeah